Today is day one of me trying to go from champ one to grand champ in Rocket League to raise money for St. Jude. Here's how this challenge is gonna work. I'm gonna go in Rocket League from this rank to this rank in 30 days. So what that means, typically going from champion one to grand champion takes people around three to 500 hours at least to make that jump. I'm gonna do it in 30 days time. Also, I do have to follow one rule, is that I can't play with anyone. All ranked games have to be solo queued. That way I am actually getting to that rank. No one is carrying me to that rank. So I started this challenge because I thought it would be really fun and really difficult and I wanted to make a difference in someone's life. So Rocket League is a game I've played for a really long time and I've been champ one actually for like since quarantine. And I've never tried to push beyond that point or train at all. I just occasionally play and then get off the game. So I've met with a coach. It is falling. My camera is falling. So I've met with a Rocket League coach to try to learn what I really need to work on and uh, how I can actually go to Grand Champ and how I can make this journey possible. Because getting to Champ 1 took me like four or five years. So going to from that to Grand Champ in 30 days it sounds impossible. And I reached out to the Rocket League subreddit and asked everyone what they thought about it. And these were the responses I got. The difference between C1 and C3 alone is pretty big. If you have Champ 1 skill at the moment, I highly doubt that. If you're actually C1 in skill currently, then basically no. If you average eight hours a day over that 30 day period, Maybe, but I still very much doubt it. No, not unless you've already been GC. C1 to C3 is a big gap, and C3 to GC1 is a massive gap. Probably not, not a chance. 30 days is plenty of time to work with others to improve at the game. OP could easily find some GC players to play some private matches with, have those games reviewed by coach and others. Improving decision making and game sense can be easy. People just don't do it. Okay, so as you can see, I've added him here on Discord, and now I'm waiting for him to respond. Come on, get up, Barry! He added me. So I'm doing a video series where I'm trying to go from Champ 1 to GC in 30 days with 30 videos to fundraise money for St. Jude. Well, that's awesome. Easiest thing for me, I don't like to overcomplicate things when it comes to just kind of getting practice. I just start with a routine every day. Okay. Um, now, this is going to be catered to what I think you need to work on, which I'll probably provide at the end of our session, just kind of hit you with a couple training packs I think you should just start on. Barry and I ended up talking for about an hour. We reviewed one of my replays and I learned a lot from him. I've decided over the next 30 days I'm going to set up weekly coaching sessions with him so that I know how to grow and continue growing. That dude's insane! What the hell? Top 30 in standard? I just to a guy. All right, cool. I've been... Oh, uh, you coach. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, I just went over everything with my coach, and I will see you guys on day one. Basically, no one thinks this is possible. I want to prove the Rocket League community that you can push yourself to points that you don't think are possible. Grand Champ is a high rank, but it's not SSL. It's not trying to go pro. So I have some ideas, but before I can get into them, yesterday I got off work and I took a work van home and left my truck at work. So I have to go return the van and get my truck and then we gotta eat and there'll be time to talk about today's training plan, all right? There's a couple things I should probably mention about this challenge. First off, I wanna give a big shout out to Ryan Trihan crossing the country with one penny challenge. He was basically the inspiration for this series. Watching his series inspired me to do something similar. So this will be a 30 day, 30 video series. There's a couple key differences about my series and his though. For one is that my donations are going to St. Jude and you'll notice that it doesn't say fundraiser under my videos and that's because it's, I don't have enough subscribers to be able to set it up like that. You have to have like 10,000 subscribers. So that's a goal I wanna achieve so that we can do a real fundraiser with YouTube um, and have that little war, have a little fundraiser at the bottom. And 
In other words, obviously that I'm playing Rocket League and not delivering a penny across the country, but I can't just get up and deliver a penny across the country because I have a full-time job. That's another thing. I will be doing this challenge with a full-time job. So anyone who has excuses about getting to Grand Champ in Rocket League, I'm about to destroy those excuses. Destroy. When I destroy the competition. Okay, I'll stop. Sorry. We're back from dropping off the truck, and I got Wendy's breakfast. So I got this, and I got... Hold on. Bum bum, caffeine. Today is a special day, not only because it's the first day of this challenge, but also because it's the day that the last two episodes of Stranger Things comes out. And I must watch this. We will train. But before I tell you what, how we're going to train, I got to destroy this breakfast. Hello? It's time for the training plan. When I talked to Barry, his recommendation for me was to focus on flicks and not air dribbles, but taking it off the wall and shooting it from the air. Because those are two things he saw in my gameplay that I was struggling with. So those are two things I'm gonna focus on for the morning. And then we'll have some different training later in the day before we get into editing and Stranger Things. Though it seemed my training for the day had ended, there was one more challenge that excited me. In the Rocket League community, there is an AI bot known as Nexto. Nexto is a grand champion too. That's a kickoff call. Bumming him didn't do anything. Way over committed. Should have had, how? No way! That work? Way. Literally everything. You do anything. It's insane. Alright, we're we're doing bad. to end it with four goals on him and he only had 13 on me which is a lot but I mean it's next to he's a lot better than I am I think it's safe to say that we know who the final boss of this 30-day challenge will be to finish the day off I did a replay review of one of my games from earlier in the day and then I played a game to kind of get to try out some of my new skills and see how I'm playing and uh but by the end of it, I was pretty tired, so after this, I went and watched some Stranger Things. Okay, I just finished watching Stranger Things, and I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I want to thank everybody for watching at this point. And remember that this, you know, I'm doing all this as a fundraiser. This is for St. Jude. This is to raise money for kids with cancer. So if you're able, please donate. We, I'll drop a link down in the description, and my goal... It's ten thousand dollars in thirty days, which I think would be insane, and you know, uh, worthy. But for now, I'm gonna go to sleep. 
I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace.